Okay, welcome back, guys. So, uh, so you should be noticing something different in here, which is this white marks all over the face. So, let me erase that. So, let me show you guys what I actually did. So, uh, where is it? Okay. Let me go to the texture set for the head. Okay. So I have this. I just put all of this in a single layer. I mean, single in a single group. So all of this now in a single group. Okay. So I made a duplicate of this. So this is the original. So this is the original. Then with the let me just repeat this step again so you guys can actually see what I did in there. Turn this black off. So we already ex exported out this texture already. So I need a max. So I need I needed a max to capture most of this. So this is the max I'm trying to get out of this. So I added a new layer. Let me just delete this and just do this from scratch. Let me just delete everything. So just show you guys the entire process. So I create a new few layer that be on top of this. So I'll give this black. So full black on this. I'll hide this by skin paints group. Okay. Now I'll duplicate this my face paint layer. I'll duplicate it. I'll hide this then on this other one I duplicated I'll set everything to white so every layer that is visible I'll set that to white so let's go to the first one click on this which one is this okay so do I need to blow on this? No, I do not. Let me delete something. Let me just go in there. We have some textures in there, so I don't want to completely blow out those textures. So something like this should be fine. Let's see what we have. Nah, I think I'll take down the blow some more. Yeah, something like that should be fine. Yeah, that should be fine. So this is already on black. Let's set this to full black. Rather full white, rather. Full white, rather. Everything should be on full white. So on full white. Set this. Set this to. Face paint. Set this to full white, full white also. Okay. Set this also to full white. Every visible layer I'll just set to full white. For this thing, okay. So I'm going to export this out. Though I've already exported this, I don't. I just export this out as just a single, single black texture. So we'll come uh, just the normal base texture. That's pretty much it. So if I come in here, I come in here on the SP textures. So this is texture spread out. So this is pretty much it. 
Okay, this texture this is going to be like this is going to be like the max for it. So <laughs> that's pretty much it. So let me turn all of this back on. Then we'll go back to my and look for a way to import this in. So let me just close save this. Saving up. Okay, so I'll just close this. Then in my uh, let's open up uh, let's open up our iPad sheet. Then for the head, we can head this mesh i'm going to duplicate this can i duplicate let me see if i can duplicate <laughs> okay i'm duplicating this i'll name this to can i name this should be able to rename this okay name this to dupe okay we actually can oh let's see the graph network why is no why am i not seeing it again uh graph network fortunately i can't see the, i can't see the connecting parts to this let me delete it delete this graph network Should probably select all of this then duplicate Put this around here instead. Great. It's not connecting. It's not connecting. It's not even connecting. Not means connecting. Let me just delete this. Let's just work with this instead. <clears throat> That's fine. Just work with this instead. So I'm going to go out of this for now. I'm going to select this. Um, okay, I think I can just do this. In, but I can just do this in the iPad shade instead. In the iPad shade instead. Uh, materials. AI. Standard surface. I'll just create a new material in here. I'll drag all of this like so. Put this up here. Okay. Then I would. I don't think I'll be. Okay. Let me just leave the shading engine for now. Let out. Delete it. I would come back in here. Select all of this, drag this in. Let's connect them where they should be. This color, put this up here. Let's connect this up first. Okay. So I would select this, then I would should be on raw, a first luminance, this roughness map. Oh, this roughness map in here. Should probably should probably name this to let me name this to Max instead. Figure out which one it is. This is the actual base color. Delete this. Okay. 
put this up here, select this, put this here, select this roughness map, raw alpha is luminance, select this, plug the out color to base color, then let me name this to face paints. Or AI face paints. Then open this up. The arrow channel upload this to specular roughness. Then AI normal map. Plug this out color to input and out value to normal cam. Select this. Set this to 0 0.4 instead. Okay, that should be fine. Then let's bring out, bring back the marks. Drop this in here. Just put this up here for now. Select this marks. Raw alpha is luminance. Okay. All right. Okay, so what I'm going to do next is to bring in an AI, a tab AI layout shader. Bring the AI layout shader. Select to so this set this here. And drag, drag this out like so. Okay. So, wrap is normal map. And our displacement map for this is gone. Uh, what did I bring out this displacement map for this? Then first we click save. Okay, to bring back the displacement node, all I needed to do was to hit this input and output connections. So that will show everything. Then go back in here. Graph network. Uh, okay, to bring the other graphs out. So Hold on shift select this AI layer shader. There's the face AI face map, then input and output. That should bring everything out. Okay. Except for a face pane that is missing. So let me just select this. Something is missing also in here. Okay, so everything back out now. Okay, um, so I'll connect this. I'll connect this to this shading engine here, to this displacement shading engine here for the AI layered shader. Then I would plug, I'll select the AI shader. So on the layer one inputs, layer one inputs will be this will come here. So I'm not going to drag middle mouse scroll, drag this and drop this on the input one, like so. Okay. Then we do okay, enable layer two, middle mouse scroll, drag this and um, plug this in here. Okay, that should be fine. Then we need a max to drive this. We need a max to drive um, this. Um, this mix. This mix is like our alpha. So that's why we have that alpha map that we plugged in. That we brought in this max in here. So that the face paint should show. So let's bring that out. I think textures. Textures. Let me just drag this in again. Drag it in again. 
Ok. So, select this layer. I can think I believe I can just middle mouse drag this to the mix. Okay. So that should plug itself in for the mix too. So now let's apply let's apply this AI pull this out like so. Put this here. So I'll select the head. Let's apply this AI shade layer shade that too. Oh, I need to do one more thing. Select this, put this on raw, half size luminance. Right click on old and select this. Right click on old. That's not. Anyways, let me just do this for me here instead. With the head may selected existing material AI layout shader. Apply this to it. Let's go to our render. Let's render this up. Let me do a quick save first. So let's render this. Let's see what we have. Strange. Okay, so I kind of figured out the, the issue. Let me just show you guys the render. So this is the render now. Rendering accurately, you can see the software is catching on the air. You can see how the paint map is actually being affected by this. Okay, it's not taking up the software is catching. So the our marking is working. So let me just show you guys how I fixed it. It's not really, it's not, it's not much of a big, big deal, but it's kind of weird and tricky to kind of fix. Kind of tricky, probably probably because of a bug or something. But the setup see pretty much remains the same. So AI standard, AI layer shader, obviously. Then on the layer one, we're already plugging the Wukong head. Layer two, plugging the AI face map. Then the same texture also we plug in the mix. The max also we created, which is the max here. This max here. If we just select it now, this is the max we created in. Substance Painter and it's on raw alpha is luminance. So well, the, only, the only issue I was the only issue I was having is applying this AI layer shader to the to the model itself. I was applying it correctly, but there was an issue. The issue was that anytime I applied it in the previous lesson, anytime I applied it, it refuses to take the inputs for layer one and input for layer two. So after applying this AI layer shader to the to the model itself. Then I went and then just repeated the same thing we did before, dragging and dropping with the middle mouse scroll. Drag the AI face to layer two, input then the Wukong head to, um, shader to the layer one. Then applying the marks, then applying the marks, applying the marks to the mix value in here. That's pretty much it. So if I select this now. Go to attribute editor. You should be having the AI layer map being applied to it correctly. Then the precise maps in the precise shader, anode AI, anode AI shader actually in the correct input. So we're doing the correct thing, but we just need to make sure it was being applied to the mesh one, and secondly to make sure <clears throat> the inputs are actually correct. And then that's pretty much it. So this is like the test render I did for it. This one that I did for it, you can see. So everything looking correctly. If you want to kind of go in there and then adjust, let's say you want to adjust. This is the map here. You know I keep stangling everything. Let me just put this like so. This one's supposed to even be up here. This down here instead. I think something like this is better understood something like is better understood so then this is the face map so we've already plugged up this inside the correct shader already which is fine 
in a normal map, I just increase it to 0 0.8. That's that's pretty much it. So everything should be working correctly as it should. All right. So making sure this is the out alpha that I've been plugged into the mix this for the max. I don't know if we take take the name. I saved it with. She's going to take the name I saved it with, but that's fine. That's completely fine. As long as it's working correctly. You can always go in there and then adjust the exposure, default color, color again, however you please to get this to get a better result out of it. To get a better result out of it. So I think it should be fine. Yeah, this will work just fine. So in the next lesson, we'll just go in and then carry on with the accessories for this. Just open the accessories for you can see this stain on the face. The dead stain on the face though most of this is most of the parts where well, it's visible to us actually being covered by most of this paint so well, that's completely fine though that's completely fine all right so i'll see you guys in the next lesson bye for now if you haven't subscribed please do subscribe that will encourage me to drop more content like this in the future and also if you don't know if you do not want to subscribe that's completely fine you can always like and share also to help this video get to those who actually need it okay thank you guys for watching i'll see you guys in the next lesson bye for now